Hello everyone, this is John Mark Johnson Jr. again, host of Relationship and Truth. And I just wanted to take a moment to comment on uh, the recent situation going on with uh, school violence in America and those kinds of issues. And as most of you who, who watch my channel and pay attention to my Facebook feed and stuff like that already know, you know uh, two things about me. First of all, I am a biblical a historical Christian, uh, very much so, and I am also a major proponent of the Second Amendment. And so a lot of you probably already know where I'm going. Um, but one thing that I wanted to comment on in particular is how uh, teachers in particular have reacted to this situation. Because as some of you may also know, I actually used to be one of them. I used to be a math teacher little town in in Idaho and um, you know um, it's come to the forefront that a lot of teachers do not like the thought of being armed you know there's you know this is there's you know been basically two solutions put forward to the issue of gun violence in schools one is that we ban guns you know and um, which is a major violation of our Second Amendment rights and also a violation of our God-given right to self-defense. As a Christian, I cannot support that one. As an American, I cannot support that one. The other option is uh, basically putting armed personnel in the schools. And if we do it as a separate security force, um, you know, actual security officers in the school, what we're going to wind up doing is we're going to wind up raising ta uh, taxes. That's what's going to happen because you have to pay for all of their salaries. And I, thinking back to the days when I was teaching, you know, if they said, okay, here are the options that are on the table, either we ban weapons in the nation, which is a <laughs> major violation of Second Amendment rights, major, uh, major violation of our God-given rights in the Bible, um, yeah, couldn't go for that one. And then they said, well, the other option is we could have armed personnel here at the school, either separate security force, or you're going to start carrying a firearm on your hip. If those were the options that were presented to me, honestly, I wouldn't necessarily like the idea of, you know, carrying a sidearm on my hip in so much as, you know, that's not why you get into teaching. You get into teaching because you want to teach kids, not, not so that you can act as a security officer. Um, but if it's either that or higher other people in, in so doing raise uh, the taxes that is placed on people or violate people's Second Amendment rights, well, that's pretty much the only option that's left. Um, aside from homeschooling, uh, homeschooling, which I firmly advocate, uh, having been in public education and seeing what goes on there and how the system is developed, yeah. Um, that is definitely a, a better option than all of them is just to do homeschooling. You don't have mass shootings in homeschools. No. There's other things that can happen, but not on a mass scale like you can have with a public school setting. Um, so yeah, that would definitely be the ultimate option of everything. But given that I don't think that the government is going to give up its control of uh, family life in that way, and really allow and encourage and even force parents to take on the roles that they used to have of educating their own kids. Um, given that I don't think that's going to really happen in the near future, the other option to arm teachers is frankly the one that makes the most sense. When I was teaching, would I have preferred that option? No. Um, I wanted to be there to teach kids. I didn't want to be there to act as security. But if it means that the people that I am serving and that's what you are as a teacher. You are a servant, whether you like it or not. If it means that the teacher that I'm serving are not going to have increased taxes uh, through having to hire separate security personnel, great. If it means that I, as a servant of these people, can make sure that their rights to self-defense are maintained against criminals and also the government, that's why the Second Amendment is in there. It's a provision against the government, a control against the government. Not everyone realizes that. Um, yeah, they, the reason why the Second Amendment was put in the Bill of Rights, it wasn't because uh, the uh, our forefathers were worried about making sure that people had a right to hunt deer. 
you know, it was after, you know, the Revolutionary War where we found ourselves very lucky to have our own weapons to use against the British. Uh, the Second Amendment is not about hunting rights. And it's not just about, you know, self-defense in the case of criminal activity. That's not why it was put in there. It was put in there for the defense of the people against uh, governments that have overstepped their boundaries. That's why it's there. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not... Yeah, that one's not on the table. Taking the Second Amendment away from people, their Second Amendment rights away from people is not on the table. So, if I am going to be a, a servant as a, as a teacher, and I respect, you know, what our, our forefathers did and why they did it, and also respect the mandates in the Bible to self-defense, then I only have one option left, and that is to carry in order to protect the kids around me. Was that what I originally signed up for in teaching? No. I signed up to teach, not to be security, but it is the simplest solution uh, to that problem. And yeah, would it require um, training for teachers? Yes, obviously. Um, going through a course on handgun uh, safety, handgun use, those kinds of things. Uh, yeah, they would need to do that. And yes, understand that that would be needs to be something that uh, they would need to be compensated on, of course. Uh, but that is still a whole lot lower cost than actually paying someone else's uh, salary to be security. And it sure beats um, taking away people's God-given rights and constitutionally protected rights. It is it is what it is on that one. And if you care about your status as a Christian, protecting people's right to self-defense, if you care about um, you know, this nation's history and why we have the Second Amendment as a protection for the people against a hostile government. And if you care about uh, making sure that people are not unduly burdened, that they don't have higher taxes than they need to, then I say to all of the teachers of America, having been one, knowing where you're coming from, I know that isn't what you signed up for, but I say to you, if you take your role as a servant of the people seriously, and especially if you have any Christian inkling whatsoever and any honor and respect for what our forefathers did, then it is incumbent upon you to carry to protect the kids in your classroom. Thank you very much for your time and attention. For those of you who are in Christ, go with God and be blessed. For those of you who are not, I pray that you would come to an understanding of the true Christ of history, the only genuine Savior of mankind. Amen.